I booked two. It's Friday. I'm so glad. Um, my cat's here again. Um, I had a really good Friday because I was able to get off early from work. Well, I guess you wouldn't say early. Um, I came in early to get off early because um, my boyfriend and I would carpool. And so he had a weird uh, shift today where he was off around noon. And so I was like, I'll, I feel fit. I, my schedule's flexible. And so I was able to come into work. But I'm a little bit foggy now because I got up so early. But um, I'm here to talk about the books I'm going to be reading. Instead of talking about like a normal Friday reads, um, I decided to, as you can see from the title of this video, um, participate in the Dewey's 24 hour readathon. And it's, um, it's all uh, tomorrow, April 6th. And um, I'm going to cheat a little bit because with Dewey's 24 hour read along, everyone starts at the same time. And for me in my time zone, I think it's like 5 a.m. And um, I'm just going to cheat by doing it Whatever time I wake up tomorrow until the time I sleep, that'll be my time of when I'll be participating. Which really fits in with the Zoo 24 hour readathon time because um, 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. So, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not getting up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. or whatever to read a bit on Sunday. Um, I know some people like stay up the whole 24 hours to participate. But that's just not me. I need to relax and uh, sleep in a bit um, all my weekends. So, uh, these are the books I'm going to be reading on tom tomorrow, Saturday. Um, and I, I decided to go with some short work just so I can feel like there's some momentum going. Um, let's make sure my cat doesn't get my drink with her fluffy tail. Um, so anyway, um, I decided to go with some short, shorter works just so I can feel some momentum, you know, completing, um, a couple books. Um, so this first one I mentioned, um, was on my April TBR is Lady First, um, and it's a biography of, uh, Mrs. Polk, the, um, First Lady. Uh, it's by Amy S. Greenberg, and it just came out in February. Oh, sorry. My cat's just going crazy over here because I just arrived home. Um, and I guess, reading from the description before, when I was um, talking about my April TBR, um, I guess that she was really um, useful and um, helpful in the women's rights movement, but she's never really talked about. Um, it says uh, she was, like, savvy. She uses stav savvy and charm to help her brilliant but unlikely husband ascend to the White House. And so she's not like she's um, like a woman of power. And so it'll be really nice to read about um, someone I guess I, I never really associated with um, the women's rights movement. Um, and this next book, going from uh, a biography to a book that I have sadly never read. Um, it's one, um, oh look at what she's staring at the camera. <laughs> um, it's, it's one that I've always thought of reading, but I just never have. And so... I think I was like on my on like scrolling through my library and just like this popped up. And I was like, I should give this a go. And I've been on hold for a while because it's still really popular because it took me like two months to finally get a hold of this uh, book. But it's the first book in the ba the Babysitters Club, and this is uh, Christie's Great Idea by Anne Anne M. Martin. And this isn't the original cover, but um, I've seen these books around, and like I didn't I just didn't read them as a kid. I saw the it was a TV show I believe or a movie. One of those <laughs> that I remember watching as a kid, but not reading the books, which is weird for me because I, I read so many books as a kid. Um, and so this, I guess it's, um, it says, uh, Christy thinks the Babysitter's Club is a great idea. She and her friends Claudia, Stacy, and Marianne all love taking care of kids. A club will give them the chance to have lots of fun and make tons of money. And so this is the first book that's going to introduce all the characters. I recognize some of the names, like Claudia and Stacy and Kurt Christy. I recognize those names um, from the TV show or movie. But uh, I don't really know anything about it, except I know there's a group of um, friends that uh, set up a babysitter's club <laughs> for for work. And so um, I'm excited to dive into the series. I know it's like quite a long series. And so um, maybe, maybe um, be, it'll be, if I like this book, it'll be a nice um, way for me to put in some like lighter books throughout um, the month as we go on. And uh, the other book that I'm hoping to get to tomorrow... Um, I don't know if I'll finish all of these. Map I might because some of them are really short, um, but we'll see. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can finish all three or four of these books I'm talking about in one day, but there's always a chance. Uh, this is Deep Creek by Pam Houston, with a picture of a dog on the on the cover. It's Finding Hope in the High Country, and this is let's see. It's a memoir. <laughs> oh, my cat's like rubbing against everything. Um, it says, uh, Beloved writer and teacher Pam Houston explores what ties her 
to the earth in her essays as lucid and invigorating as mountain air. How do we become who we are in the world? We ask the world to teach us. In her travels from the Gulf of Mexico to Alaska, Pam Houston explores what ties her to earth, her 120-acre homestead in the Colorado Rockies, Colorado Rockies most of all. Here, elk, calves, and bluebirds marked a changing season, winter temperatures dropped to 35 degrees below, and lightning strikes at a 110,000-acre wildfire in a dry summer, threatening her century-old barn and its inhabitants. So this is going to um, have a... I feel like it's going to be an essay, of like an amalgamation of a memoir about her life and um, the nature that you know, she's living in. It sounds like she's traveled quite a bit, and so I'm hoping um, it includes some of her insights um, with seeing so much of, uh, of North America. And so these are the three books I'm hoping to read. But if I do have, to, like, if I get tired or if I'm going to go walking, then I will, um, this is the book I'm listening to currently on audio. And it's a book that I am... Um, I've seen quite a few people talk about. Um, it's On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. She wrote um, The Hit You Give. And that was a, no, it came into a movie also. And it's narrated by Bonnie Turpin. Um, it, well, she's doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm only like halfway through this book. I listened to it while I was at work today. And the narrator is really good. Like her, um, the way she portrays her characters. It feels like I'm listening to this, the characters talk to me. Like on the phone basically. And this is following a girl named Bree. Who is in high school and she wants to become a rapper and so um, she's kind of like struggling with the community she's in because she's living in a in an impoverished area but um, her mother really wants her to get an education and um, it can break out of this uh, community um, but she Brie the daughter wants to be a rapper and so it's really cool like the audiobook includes like some of her songs and poems and the raps uh, in the book and so if you get a chance if you want to read this book I highly recommend um, the audiobook because it's, it's really, really well done. And so, yeah, these are the books I'm planning to read tomorrow. Um, wish me luck. This is my first time participating in Dewey's uh, 24 hour, hour readathon. And it seems like they have a, a, quite a bit of a following. So, um, I'll leave a link in the description below to like their website or I think they have like a Twitter account um, and whatnot. So, I'll, I'll uh, leave a link if you want some more information on it. So, um, wish me luck. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Um, my weekend's starting off nice. Um, a little bit tired, like I said, but um, at least. I'll, I might like watch a movie or something I don't, or read. I don't know. I might fall asleep while reading to be honest today, but I'll rest up so I can read tomorrow. Um, yeah. So thanks. See you soon book two.